Hello and welcome to my channel. I've not been able to post any videos for quite a few months and you can probably tell from the voice that I'm not really 100% there yet. However, I am trying to make my way back to regular video posting. So I hope you'll bear with me. And I thought I would start with a series of short videos called Canvas Workspace Snippets. And these are designed for beginners or those who just need a bit of a refreshment, kind of like myself. <laughs> so I'll start with this first video. And this is a short video on the different formats that you will find in Canvas Workspace. I hope you enjoy. In this Canvas Workspace snippets video, I'll be talking about the difference in the two formats that Canvas Workspace creates. The first is the CWPRJ format, and the other is the FCM format. The difference is that the CWPRJ is Canvas Workspace's native format for editing. These are working files, temporary files. The machine, therefore, does not cut these files. It won't recognize them. They're for editing, not for cutting. For cutting, the machine recognizes FCM files because this is the scan and cuts native format for the cutting data for the uh, machine. So it will only cut the FCM files, not the CWPRJs. Now, there is an advantage of saving your work as a CWPRJ first, because then you can use those files over and over again. You can keep coming back to them. You can edit them however you like. You can rename them, but they are there and you don't send them to the machine until you're ready. So let's use an example of that. Let's create a new file. Now I'll bring in some files. I've got some SVG files here. Uh, this rosette. I'm going to duplicate that and enlarge it. Now you'll see it's filled. That's because this is an SVG file that was saved with color. The machine does not recognize that color at all. So it doesn't make any difference to the machine if it's filled or not, because it's going to see it as this unfilled. This is just for visual purposes. So when you're working with various elements, you can distinguish where they are in relation to one another, if they're on top, or if they're behind, whatever you like. So let's bring in some other elements as well. Bring in a word here, celebrate. Seems to be a nice the sentiment there, we've got some borders. We'll do that. And a couple of other shapes. Got a heart and a star. So those, we'll fill some of those up as well. And now we've got the beginnings of a working file. And we can keep these, we can put these anywhere we like, inside of the cutting area or outside of the cutting area. Because if you were to try to save this now uh, as an X or export it as an FCM file, you would not be able to actually do that because when you try, it will say that there are elements that are outside of the cutting area, which is the red 
dashed line that you see here on the artboard. So that's essentially your map. So it will not let you actually export that as an FCM file until everything that you want is inside of the cutting area. Because now you could export that. But let's not do that yet. Let's go ahead and save this so we have it to work with. So we would save as, and we would find where we want to put it, and I'll leave it here on this folder. And you see it says CWPRJ, and to call it working file. All right, and save that. Okay. So we have this now. Now, if we are ready to send this to our machine or save it to then send it at another time, then we would go back up to File and use Export. We don't use Save As. That is for the temporary file, the working file. We would export it at this point. And if we're ready to send it to the machine, either wirelessly, if you have a wireless machine, or put it on a USB stick so that you can plug it into the machine, or save it to a file location. And you'll see that it keeps the same name that you had for your temporary file, but you don't have to use that. You could call it whatever you like. Or you could call it Working File 2, for example. Or the next one, you can do 3, 4, 5, whatever you like. But it's going to keep it under that name. And then when you're ready to retrieve it, you'll go to Import from your computer. But at the moment, this is still a temporary file. So I can change those positions. And when I save it, I can override it so that it overwrites the working file name, or I could give it a different name and save it uh, as a different file altogether. But I'm just going to save it for now. So it's saved. That means I can go to a new file now. And I can use the shortcut for import from your computer or use the drop down from file and import from my computer. And you'll see that it only shows these type of files, FCM files plus the other files, which you can actually import SVG, DXF, JPEGs, the GIFs, the PNGs, and the BMP files. We've got working file here. Open that, and that is that file. And you'll notice, too, that all the fill is gone because this is the way the machine will actually see that file. And if we want to get rid of that now, we can just go up to Open, our recent file. We don't need to save this because we're not creating a new working file. We're, we were just sending that to the machine. So we don't save it. And we've got our working file back. So we can add to this, subtract from it, whatever we like. So that is the difference between the two for, for, uh, file formats. The first, the CWFPRJ being the working file or the editing file, and the FCM being the cutting file. So I hope you enjoyed this and that you learned something. And if you have any questions, please leave them in a, the comment section below, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. In the meantime, I hope you have a very good evening or day, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you on another Canvas Workspace snippet very soon. Bye.